fire trucks here. Hope everything's okay. You know, with that bike out there next to the fire truck, it kind of reminds me of a similar scenario one or two years ago, except instead of a fire truck, it was a police car. <sighs> well, there's a way to start the video. If anything actually does happen, I'll let you know. If not, then on to the next part of the video. You know, actually, I kind of want a better looking image than looking out the window because it kind of uh, has a, uh, oh, it's heavy, no, don't go outside, come on now. You don't want to go outside with them. Just... Tam, come on now, stop. Hold on. Let him out. I had to let him out the back door. Okay, let's do this without looking like I'm being nosy. I just want a good image of the fire truck for the video. There we go. Much better looking. Look at that. I want to take a picture of it too, if I can, without looking nosy. Update, uh, now an ambulance pulled in back there. I don't exactly know what's the problem, because they seem to get the ambulance and stuff the most, more than anybody else. It's, it's, wonder if somebody has like asthma attacks or you know whatever that's recurring. I don't know. For some reason, she loves to lick Walmart bags, and I don't understand why. She does this to every Walmart bag. It doesn't matter what's in it. This one is actually an Easter Bunny, funny enough. but. <clears throat> I don't understand it. No, don't bite it. If she rips any pieces off, I'll take it away, but normally she doesn't bite it, she just licks it. I don't understand. Because she's not thirsty, she she has a drink, sometimes she goes and gets a drink and then comes back and does this. And she can't have a belly problem or something because she doesn't like throw up or anything. She doesn't want grass, I know I went outside and got gave her grass before, she didn't want that. I don't get it. Moki. Hi. <sighs> she's on my lap. I picked her up and put her on my lap, but she's on my lap. Oh, okay.
Her back leg does that sometimes. Because it sort of tickles, but not really. And she's like okay with petting her belly though. But like in a certain area when like you pet her like this, her back leg will start kicking. That's funny. She's purring so much. Oh, oh, you rubbed it in your face on the camera. Oh, I think she's going to do it again. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so funny. That's a good monkey. Good monkey. <laughs> what do we talk about today, huh, monkey? Because I don't know anything. I mean, wait. <coughs> That's not what I mean. Um, I don't know what to talk about. Or what to say. Pet gentler, that way your eye doesn't do that. So what exactly do I talk about? Because I have no idea. <coughs> oh, jeez. I really don't know what to say today. It's, it's a boring day. I think of, of something, I'll turn the camera back on. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I could always try and take a walk. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Let's see. Ooh. It's 7.16. And it's still halfway decent out. Uh, I mean, you know, the light. So, maybe I have time to take a walk. Walk and talk on the camera. Maybe. Uh, I'm not used to doing that if anybody is watching me do that. So that could be a challenge that I can overcome. Or attempt to overcome. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit darker. Uh, I actually waited too, too long. Uh, it's now 7.45. But maybe I should still go anyway, right? Look, it's 70 out. Yeah, maybe I should still go. I think I should. I think I should. I'm gonna try it. It is kind of dark. I mean, it's dark enough to need headlights on the cars. Well, actually, it probably was earlier too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a walk. I might as well. It'll be weird though if anybody sees me with the camera. Uh, down here, I'm more okay with if they see me with the camera for some reason. But like, if I have it up here. It feels kind of weird. I don't know. <sighs> I need it. I, I really need to take a walk. And I need to, to walk. Oh, are they okay? I don't see anybody home. Uh, the ones that had the fire truck and ambulance earlier today. I don't see anybody home now. Hopefully whoever it was is okay. Anyway, uh, I'm tired. I, I shouldn't be.
because it would be 7 now. And you don't normally go to bed till like 10 or 11 normally. And those were the first two people that I walked past while still talking. You could kind of see how awkward I was with my face like, oh, like this. Why do I do that? Why the hell does it matter what people think about me? Why? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Um, shoot, now a truck's coming. Oh, somebody has a U-Haul truck. Oh, somebody is moving in. That place, that place right there has been empty for like a year now, or at least it feels like a year. Got new neighbors. Huh. Wonder if they're any good. <laughs> Never really seems like it over here, but at the same time, it kind of does, because um, at least people are being normal, uh, you know, not like certain areas of Brooklyn or whatever where everybody needs to carry a weapon at all times and fear for their life, pretty much, at least that's what it seems like, because if you walk in the wrong part of the city or whatever, <laughs> you're not going to have a good time. I was only going to walk half the block, but I'm just going to go the whole way, because it's a, a mile. I think it's a mile walk. At least that's what Google Maps says when I try that. Because, um, like, when I try to make, like, the loop around on Google Maps and stuff, you got to, like, pick multiple destinations around the loop, that way it will go all the way around the loop instead of from here to here, you know what I mean? And it said a mile, so... And that's the only thing I can go by right now, unless we try it. Uh, maybe I could try driving uh, again and see, see what the monitor says. Since I think it has a decimal, so it would, be, it would tell me exactly if it's like 1.0 or like a 1.2 or something. <sighs> it's nice out right now. It feels a little bit cold, so not cold, but you know, feels a little nippy. So the hum humidity is probably a bit lower than normal. It's weird. People, uh, there's more people outside now. Oh, look at their light. Their street light. Oh, the camera won't focus on it, will it? Uh, I like their street light. It looks pretty cool. I mean, not street light. Their driveway street light, pretty much. I don't know if you heard that. It was a bird. I don't know if I'm going to film the entire time. Or not and somehow I'm out of breath already why am I out of breath already my the house my house is over there like I only went like 0.4 miles if this is a if this is a one mile thing I only went 0.4 miles I think there's people in the road <sighs> holy crap he just scared the hell out of me what puppy Oh. Yeah, I say puppy to everybody. I mean everybody. What the heck am I talking about? Everybody. Every dog I say puppy. My mom got me in the habit of that. <laughs> anyway, if this loop is just a mile, and I only walk point four before I start getting out of breath, something's wrong. Anyway, yeah, I should probably, I, I don't know what else to say. 
And I really hope their music doesn't give me a copyright strike. But I'll probably stop filming until I can think of something else if I do. Okay. Okay, camera. Let's see if you can see that plane. Look at that. It can see it, but really blurry. But at least it can see it, that's pretty cool. Well, hopefully there's at least one still image of that shaky mess where you can actually see, see the, the airplane. Wow, my legs hurt already, holy crap. That's actually not good. <sighs> you know, it would kind of be cool to be on a plane at least once. And wow, everything's really dark right now. It would be kind of be cool to be on a plane at least once. I mean, I'm, I would be so afraid. <laughs> the first, or well, pretty much every time because, you know, you're risking your life a bit more than normal. But I think it would still kind of be cool. Street light, by the way. It would still kind of be cool to, to be on a plane. Just to see, you know, below you and stuff. And I would film, like, whatever I can getting on board and filming out the plane window that would be kind of fun <sighs> anyway I'll probably see you once I get to the hill maybe that hill that I rode down on my bike with uh, in one of those videos so yeah it's getting darker though you can see it's getting darker Okay, I don't know about anybody else, but this kind of looks really creepy. <laughs> Ooh, look at that house. That looks so creepy in the dark. With the orange candles and stuff in the windows. What the heck? But anyway, just walking on this road looks really creepy. Holy crap. Anyway, as you can tell, it is now even darker. When the sun goes down, the light goes quickly. I don't like that, uh... Oh, what do you want? What do you want? Okay, now that he shut up, I don't remember what I was going to say now. Damn, no, he was, he's a tiny dog, but holy crap, he makes him sound like he's a big dog. <laughs> wow, look how dark it is, you can barely see me now. Anyway, I was going to say, um... I don't know why, but I get this really um, weird fear um, to where like it feels like my life is like always in danger. And I know that, that I mean, technically that's true, but. What type of fear is that? Like when you when you always feel like your life is in danger no matter what. Like I was afraid just walking around the loop because it was starting to get dark, and it's like kind of kind of kind of weird because you don't really know anybody, so you don't know like who you can trust, who you can't, and the driving thing. See, I just turned around to look to see who, if anybody's behind me. That's not normal, is it? 
I mean, I guess for some people it can be normal, but it shouldn't be. I mean, why would I be afraid for my life all of the time, every time I step outside? That's not good. I gotta change that mindset somehow. I don't know how, but I know that that's not a good thing to constantly fear for your life all of the time no matter what 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 type of life is that <sighs> anyway now I'm getting into the the cat section of the neighborhood instead of the dog a lot better because the cats aren't gonna chase after you and make noise and all that crap see I don't know if you can see, but there's Kitty right there. Hi, Kitty. I don't know whose Kitty that is. Never seen that one. Unless it's the pussy tail. I don't know. I can't tell. Holy crap, though. Just walking around the loop once and it gets this freaking dark. Wow. It was just a mile. That shouldn't, that, that was only what, like 10, 15 minutes the most? Wow. Like I said, when the sun goes down, the light goes out really quickly. I think they said 7 minutes. As soon as the sun fully sets, you have 7 minutes before it gets much, much darker. Or something like that, I don't know. Or 7 minutes... When the sun officially sets, it takes seven minutes for us to notice it or something like that. Anyway, I think I videoed enough today. Decent amount, decent long and everything, so thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.